Hello, I'm Steve. I'm a Hill Gang member from Buxton Mountain Rescue Team. And today I'm going to give a very brief video about what we call bag three, which as you can see, contains Entonox. Entonox, you might know Entonox as gas in air or laughing gas. I know it as a mixture of nitrous oxide and oxygen and it's pain relief. And if we need to move you, straighten a broken ankle out or something like that, you're going to be very glad that this turns up. As I say, it's not an overly big bag, but it still does weigh around 10 kilos. Let's have a look inside. As you've seen before on our other videos, no doubt, we use these plastic tags everywhere to tell us that if I see a plastic tag on a bag, I know it's got in it what it's supposed to have in it and it's ready to go. So in here we have a rather inflexible pipe and two compressed gas cylinders. Obviously we take two, so if one runs out, we've got a spare and it wouldn't be the first time that we've actually used more than one gas cylinder on a job. What do we have? On our gas cylinder, of course, we have a gauge to tell us how much there is. Have a quick check of that. And then we have this pressure fitting, really simply, goes in there, clicks, and then we can turn that on. Lefty Lucy. And as you all know, when you undo something, you leave it able to twist. That way we know it's undone. Out of interest, all of our hill going team members are trained to assemble this. So same as some of our other equipment. If for instance, we have a CAS carer over here talking to the casualty, he or she can very quickly request, would you please put the Entonox together and any of our hill going members should be able to assemble the Entonox giving kit. Also, and you may have seen these, especially some of you ladies that have given birth, very similar to the gas and air that we have in hospital. There's a mouthpiece that fits on here. So that pushes onto there very simply, and we have a mouthpiece for the casualty to bite on. This is a regulator, essentially the same regulator that you might find on scuba equipment. So who might get Entonox? Pretty much anybody who's in pain. It's absolutely fantastic. It's very quickly administered. It's very quickly absorbed by the casualty, so it's very quickly acting. If for some reason or other we want to stop using it, it's very quick to take away. And all we actually have is a handful of contraindications to this. The most obvious one is that the casualty has to be able to administer themselves. That means the casualty has to be conscious, sufficiently conscious, to hold onto this regulator and actually take an active breath. Secondly, we have to be very careful giving Entonox if we think the casualty might have a lung injury or a chest injury. If we're going to have some problems with the chest or the lungs, using Entonox might bring those things on. In particular, you might call it a collapsed lung, I might call it a pneumothorax. Also, peculiarly, if the casualty has been diving recently, we don't want to give them this because, as I said before, it contains nitrous oxide and the nitrogen in this could also cause problems to someone who's already got nitrogen in their blood from diving. Another precaution we have to take with this, as I say, it's a mixture of oxygen and nitrous oxide, and those two gases can separate out in the liquid phase in the bottle. So what we have to do is we have to ensure that we give it a good shake, and we have to be particularly careful about keeping the bottle warm if we happen to be out in the winter. A great thing about Entonox that I always like to remind people of is it's administered by the casualty and there's great psychological strength in the casualty feeling that they are helping themselves, even if it's something just as simple as administering a drug themselves. Also, when they've had enough of it, they know they've had enough of it and they just relax and take it away. Thanks for watching. If you want to know more about our medical equipment, you might want to watch my video on oxygen, bag two, or you might want to watch Kerry's video on bag one. Also, folks, don't forget, if you enjoyed watching this, please subscribe, tell your mates, keep an eye open for us on the hill. Bye.